Hi, I'm Ron. And I'm Don. And this is the Ron and Don Show. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to dive into the topic of POS, disconnect, and reconnect. Uh, there are a number of times when a POS station needs to be disconnected. Uh, perhaps you're changing out a server side station or something like that, uh, or a, a chef's counter or something. You're going to need to disconnect a, a POS and then subsequently reconnect it once the new equipment or the work is in place or done. Uh, and in such a case, I highly recommend you use the support of your help desk or IT department, but here are a few tips that uh, might get you through it if those folks aren't available after hours. One of the things that we should be aware of is occasionally you will have an emergency where you really absolutely cannot uh, delay shutting it down. Let's say you suddenly have a uh, pipe above a POS station that has broken. Well, you got to protect it and get that piece of equipment out of there and out of there now. It, if you have a chance to call the IT department or help desk, wonderful. If, you, if it's not an emergency, you can schedule it in advance and have their people come in and do it even better. Never expect that if you're doing the work yourself that the standard cabling layout for all the different colored wires in there will be followed by every technician that was before you. Yeah, the only thing standard is there is no standard. So label very carefully each color wire for each port that it's, it goes to or plug and then shoot pictures of that label before you even take it apart. Mm. And then which unit it goes to, shoot a picture of the unit it goes to and where it goes back to. So you can keep the piece of equipment, the cabling, the right sequence of the cabling, and the location of the equipment all in place, especially if you're replacing, moving several things, uh, several screens, printers, uh, and or terminals. Now, if you have to power down, or if you have to take a piece of equipment out, you need to power it down first. Mm. Don't take it out powered up. You're going to cause all kinds of problems. I think, too, it's important to note that uh, many POS systems also are designed with a master and a number of slave terminals. The slave terminals are a little bit easier in most cases to take down, but if you ever need to disconnect and reconnect a master, I highly recommend that you get the IT or support function uh, on the phone and get them to walk you through that. Oftentimes that master uh, POS system or unit has been in the bar or in the server alley and that collects all of the information from that day's sales, which will uh, go directly against uh, the inventory because you've cooked that food and served it and it has recorded that and that goes against the A versus T for inventory. You also have all the sales information on there and that is all information that the corporate structure wants that night to be pulled. So you have to wait until the time when that unit can be pulled. Sometimes the IT department can change the polling time to allow you to get in there earlier to pull that piece of equipment, but it cannot be moved until such time, otherwise you could lose that data or that piece of equipment will have to take into another location, set up, and ha have the information extracted. And it's highly confidential information for most companies. So leaving those masters alone until they're, it's ready to be polled is critical. Now we have some operational things that you have to worry about. Once you fire up uh, the systems, you've got it all done, make sure that operations comes in a little bit early and they can run some dummy checks through the system to make sure that that screen over there at the broil station is getting the orders that comes in and it's not going over to the salad person. Or the bar is getting the drink orders and it's not being lost in the system. Make sure that they do a bunch of dummy orders that everything is working before you walk away from it for the day. And the same holds true for printers as well. All that stuff needs to be tested. Correct. And, <laughs> and preferably before the restaurant opens for lunch. Exactly. I'm Ron. And I'm Don. Thanks for joining us today as we talk about POS, disconnect, and reconnect. Mm -hmm. Subscribe. <laughs>